Sixth, boom operation. Turn the remote control switch to the remote control position. Then start to operate the remote control. First, press the power switch shortly. Then press the power switch for three to five seconds until activating remote control. Open the boom. First, step one: operation of the fourth boom. Open the fourth boom to around five degree. Observe the lower cover plate at the end of the fourth boom. Just exceeds the upper cover plate of first boom. Step two: operation of first boom. Open the first boom completely. Step three: operation of the boom four. Close the boom four completely until the boom four fully touch with boom four. Operation of the boom two. Open the boom two. Step four, and observe whether the clamp of boom two tail can pass the narrowest section of boom one. Step five, operation of the boom three and boom four. Fully open the booms. Do not open the fourth boom before fifth boom are opened. Otherwise, the end of boom six will heat with the connecting rod between boom three and boom four, causing boom damage. The boom close process is the reverse procedure of the above process. During closing the boom, please pay attention to the boom, connecting rod, vehicle body, and other surrounding obstacles to prevent interference and collision. The operation of the boom shall be performed by the remote control. If the remote control is broken down, the boom multi wave off can be manually operated for emergency treatment. Seven. Pumping operation. First, operator should communicate with the worker near end holes. Second, before starting to pump concrete, pump some water and mortar to lubricate pipes. Third, set the mixing switch on the electric control cabinet as positive rotation. After the hopper is filled with enough concrete, press the pumping button on the remote control or the manual panel to start the automatic pumping. Fourth, the pumping displacement can be adjusted according to the needs of the work. Fifth, if needs operate boom during pumping, operate it in the slow gear. Sixth, during pumping process, it should intermittently do the reverse and forward pumping sometimes every 10 to 15 minutes interval stop, so that moves the concrete back and forth to keep good flowability. Seventh. If the pumping stops for a long time, the concrete in the pipe should be sucked back to the hopper. Pump again after full mixing. Once the pipe is plugged, do not insist on pumping. Immediately operate the reverse pump sometimes. Eighth, when the work is over, press the stop button to stop the pumping. Ninth, after the shutdown, the accumulator and the pressure in the hydraulic pipe can be automatically released. But for safety. Please put the mixing switch and the cleaning switch in the stop position, respectively. Eighth, concrete pipe and truck pump cleaning. After pumping, put a soaking sponge ball into the end holes. Reverse pumping the remaining concrete of the concrete pipe back to the hopper. Open the hopper door. Drain off the remaining concrete from the hopper. Clean the hopper by water. The other most common way is to reverse pump the remaining concrete back to the hopper. Open the hopper door, discharge the remaining concrete, then forward pump water directly until the outlet water is clean. At last, use high pressure water pump to clean the whole vehicle. Shift to the driving mode. First, after work, clean the machine. If the ambient temperature is below zero, the remaining water in the cleaning system, water tank, water pipe must be drained off. Second, close the booms in the opposite way as described above. Put it on the boom support. Third, lock the out trigger. Fourth, switch the PTO box from pump mode to drive mode. Ninth. The operation of single side support. X type out trigger truck pump has three tires of single side support: left side support, front V support, and right side support. Regardless which support type the truck pump works on, 
the working side outriggers must be fully extended and supported to the limited position in case of danger. In the case that the first boom is in position, the shift of support type is workable. Take the left side support as example. First, turn selection switch to the left support position. Second, long press the confirmation button until the green light of button indicator is on. The activation is completed. Third, when making a mistake, do not operate the booms, just select again. Safe operation of truck pump is very important. Safety is always the focus of construction. Although the construction quality is very important, but the personal safety of the staff should be first.